Thane is usually in the top five or six cities across India. We introducing the credit link subsidy scheme that had been discontinued around three years ago. Two degrees cooler than Bombay. I don't like that, but ठीक है, है तो है. Why Thane is now the go-to housing market in the MMR region? Thane is the city of lakes. It has hills. It has a really great lifestyle, and more often than not, it has larger land parcels available when compared to Mumbai. What is happening in Thane, which we don't know? The government has issued tenders for the coastal road to be built all the way from Hiranandani Estate, taking you to Balku Main Saket Road, and then to Thane City. As a real estate developer. What is it that you want from the new government which will take charge from June 2024? What is that one thing you want from them? Hello and welcome to my new show Location Nexus where we pick a location in the Mumbai metropolitan region and we call industry experts to talk about it. So today is our maiden episode, and I'm so excited to invite two guests, my clients, my friends. Both are absolutely young, budding entrepreneurs. Both have studied in the United States, and they've come back. So they're part of my brain gain back to India. So it's a delight to welcome the lady first, Ayushi from Asher Group, and of course the gentleman Anuj from Dosti. So welcome, and today we're going to talk about Thane City. And the housing market here. So let me begin. The Sobo, which is the South Mumbai, and we all love it, sells about two thousand apartments per year. The Eastern Suburbs, which is right next door, sells about sixteen thousand. But Thane City sells thirteen thousand apartments. That's a lot of apartments, right? And my favorite part is each apartment average is about a crore rupees, and that's the sweetest spot to buy in India. Your views on why Thane is now the go-to housing market in the MMR region? Ayushi, do you want to start first? Yeah, sure. First of all, thank you, Abhishek, for having us on your show. Thane specifically uh, has seen tremendous gain because of infrastructure more than anything else. Second, I think, is natural beauty. Thane is the city of lakes. It has hills. Um, it has a really great lifestyle, and more often than not, it has larger land parcels available when compared to Mumbai. So we often see people who want an upgrade in lifestyle, who want larger gated communities, who want to really enjoy uh, their lifestyle quotient. You know, so they step away from Mumbai, come into Thane, and now because of the connectivity and infrastructure, yeah. like we said, yeah. it's just hop, skip, and jump. Like I have been born and raised in Thane my entire life. I've went to school here. I've lived here, and I've seen the difference. Like before, it used to take me, you know, 30 minutes to get to a specific point, and now 30 minutes. I mean, within Thane, but now with the infrastructure development, I can get from Thane to BKC in, you know, 35 to 40 minutes, and that's great. I mean, and you're and you're getting your space, you know, which you don't get as much in Mumbai. So you're basically saying there are bigger townships here, so there's yeah. more community living. You're saying now you have your own Central Park, yeah, right? Mumbai waited for a metro for 30 years. My dad told me that metro is coming, metro is coming, now it's coming, right? Thane is getting in earlier, right? So that's great, and it's affordable, which Mumbai is not, right? But Anuj, you have the same view. Something else to add? Why Thane? Uh, thanks for having us on the show, Abhishek, and quite similar to what Ayushi mentioned, that um, Thane is known for being a industrial city back in the day. and when industries were shunted out of thane we were lucky to be able to get nice and organized parcels of land that had a clean title unlike what challenges we face in other suburbs or cities and uh, all these factory lines had good uh, good layouts be it um multiple or i would say more than 3/4 of the projects in thane have come up on old factory lines and the developer gets the advantage to plan a good layout have large open spaces provide a large clubhouse and give more community living as you mentioned the customers in thane can really enjoy things what one cannot enjoy in mumbai apart from that we have seen infrastructure has been booming in thane over since the last 10 to 12 years with large roads 
clearances of um, encroachments on the roads to clean up highways, make them larger and wider. If I give you an example about our project Dosti Vihar at Pokhran Road Number One, when we began the development in 2004, we used to get there using a three to four meter, I would say, extremely raw gravel road, and that actually deterred our sales. But today, when we look at Pokhran Road Number One and Two. The roads are 24 meter wide or 30 meter wide DP roads that one would, I would say, right now it's like it's envious to stay at Pokhran Road number one and two, but back in the day, things were quite different. And with the way Thane has grown, plus we're having metro connectivity already being built in Thane. We'll have Seeps and Badala connected to Thane via Metro Line number eight and Metro Line number four will take you from Thane Bivandi Kalyan. Similarly, Metro Line Ten will combine Mira Road to Thane. So overall, Thane um has a lot of advantages for home buyers, and uh, it's a very family-oriented town. Can we make apartments which are not a crore rupees, probably worth fifty lakhs, sixty lakhs, and our honourable Prime Minister's favourite housing for all? Can we make those? Are we doing that? Are you doing that? Are you doing that? Well, um, we are working on that and been doing that for the last four five years or so. Two of our projects in Thane, one being Dosti West County. West County has a range of apartments ranging, starting all the way from 40, 45 lakhs, but that's an extremely small one BHK of roughly 290 square feet. And in the same township, we even offer a three bed and four bed, going all the way to one and a half to two crore. But we have one other dedicated township that's four kilometers away from Badkum, known as Dosti Greater Thane. Where the entire project is known for apartments that sell under 65 lakhs, we in fact started phase one in 2020 during peak pandemic, and uh, we feel very proud to say that we could sell 1750 homes worth 27 lakhs within a span of 10 to 12 days, and uh, that was during COVID. We were extremely worried that any given moment the cops are going to come and shut our sales office. But things went smooth, and within a month's time or so, we were able to wrap up phase one entirely. We then chose to launch the next phase in 2020 January, where we chose to go slightly higher on the apartment sizing. Phase one had apartments of 320 square feet, and phase two apartments started at 350 square feet, going all the way to 560 square feet. Ayush, if I can ask you, so you when you entered into Thane, you entered Majiwada first, right? So that's grew. Then of course Pokhran grew. Now it's cold shade. There's Balkum. Is there, to your mind, something the next micro market within Thane City where you see lot of action happening, either by yourself or your friends in the industry? Yeah, I think the first like back in the day when you enter Thane, I think Tien Hat Naka was you know that junction where. Uh, which connected Thane to you know Thane City and you know all the way going up to Cadbury and then uh, going forward. So yes, of course, Majiwada has gone through its entire life cycle. It's one of the most well-known junctions of Thane. We have two projects there. They're on either side of the of the bridge and um, doing very well. But I think the unexplored locations of Thane and 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 that's the beauty of Thane, right? You have these micro markets where uh there has been so much history because thane is actually a very very old city the first railway line was laid from thane to cst you know that thane goes back that much in history so i think two micro markets for us one would be shrinagar which is um, at what we call it now the mulund thane corridor almost i I've, i've lived there my entire life and it connects mulund and thane through a back road and um, it enjoys The best views, tremendous natural beauty. It's it's closer to Mulund Station, or two and a half kilometers to Mulund Station. Thane Station is about four four and a half kilometers from there. Completely unexplored, offshoot from Bagle Estate. So the same way that Bagle Estate enjoyed its popularity because of all the commercial and IT developments that came in here, I think Srinagar is going to be the home city for everyone working at Bagle Estate because. Bagle Estate as a whole has almost two million square feet of office spaces up and coming, um, you know, in the next four to five years, according to some data that I read. So, I think Srinagar is a very, very promising location. So, I think that is an amazing. So then, am I allowed to say that if you're living in Bombay, Bandra to Naraman Point, 
there's a floor rise price for the sea view can i say here you have a floor rise price for 100%. the yaur hills and the greenery which you might not get in bombay 100% right 100% and right. and we already have a project that we have delivered there recently um, it's called ashram maple and the views from there are stunning right from this office building if if you know we were to um, come in at the sunset time you will get views like never before just views of the sanjay gandhi national but park but are you breathing better air than we are is 2 degrees cooler <laughs> actually it it is it is 2 degrees cooler uh, in shrinagar than the rest of the city wow sonuji if i can ask the same question to you within the thane district which location or a micro location do you see further growth uh, from a housing infrastructure community living everything put together over the next 5 to 10 years before i answer that question thane has seen growth ever since i would say the mulun chek naka or so back in the day or two decades ago we had seen good growth at the early parts of godbandar road at pokhran road 1 and 2 that was in the early 2000s as you came to 2010 to 20s godbandar road thoroughly exploded all the way from city till bhayandar pada and beyond um such locations now what we are seeing is i would say with the slight saturation of godbandar road um balkum as a village has grown tremendously balkum enjoys more than 5 to 7 large developments all of 50 to 70 acres each and all the developers there are going to ensure that whatever they give whatever they do they won't undercut each other and they will deliver the best possible product for the customer that's why you have the grand central park and you even have a euro school coming up at west county mm-hmm. but for the next 5 to 10 years i would lay my eyes beyond balkum and as you cross kashili bridge this 4 km from balkum and 7 km from vivyana mall we have a project in kalher and kashili micro market known as dosti greater thane the advantage in dosti greater thane is that it's a unexplored untapped location by many developers in fact puranix had one development there back in the 2000s when they did bungalow living out there now fsi is so high that we definitely are not going to do that we are doing a large 150 acre township with multiple towers be it residential some commercial some warehousing in the future as well and we have launched two phases out there in this project the main advantage that a home buyer gets is that he can enjoy the luxuries of thane at possibly half the price of thane when we launched phase 1 we were selling at a price of 7500 per square feet on rera carpet in 2020 the home buyers who booked apartments then experienced a 25 to 30% hike in less than 3 years when we launched phase 3 at a price of 9 and a half thousand and even though we look at developers including ourselves are selling products out of balkum just across the creek at a price of 16 to 18000 down the line we anticipate pricing at greater thane to come to not similar levels but to be at a similar um number maybe 10% 15% less compared to what we are doing at balkum and what we see is the concept of arbitrage so as you go more and more further away compared to a cbd let's take an example of bkc being a cbd as you go more and more away in in a circular manner away from bkc pricing is dropping gradually but somehow as you cross balkum and go to greater thane the pricing used to drop tremendously by more than 40% and beyond i would say distances that are more than 25 km from vivyana mall are having a better price compared to what we are having so we are definitely confident and gango about the fact that in the next 5 to 10 years our buyers our development will see a tremendous price escalation that's going to help pretty much the first home buyer tremendously the way they had seen the real estate boom back in 2002 to 4 onwards what is it that and ayushi will start with lady first what is it as a real estate developer as a real estate enthusiast what is it that you want from the new government which will take charge from june 2024 What is that one thing you want from them? So I'll say two things. Because <laughs> you never just ask for one. Allow me, but okay, we'll allow the lady to do that. So I think I think the first and one of the most important ones for the MMR region is the premium cost. 
बिकॉज एनी वे वेर इन अ सिटी वेयर लैंड कॉस्ट इज रियली हाई राइट एंड वेन यू एड अवी प्रीमियम कॉस्ट ऑन इट combined with now there was a new um, i read it recently there was a new ruling and we were talking with our accounts team internally that there will be gst even on the premiums we pay so i mean we are already paying premiums and then further there will be a gst added to it it's almost 45 to 50 50% also in some projects cost goes into land and approvals in bombay and or the mmr region as a whole i think that is the biggest pain point of um, every developer who is really trying to make a project viable but it it you know often gets stuck um, because of these type of issues so i think that's the first one and that impacts the home buyer as well so if you want Entirely. to keep the city affordable you have to do something in this at least start thinking in these lines right yeah so sure. and the second second one i would probably say is um, the speed of getting the approvals and the single window approval system that we all talk about i think as we are progressing towards digitalization towards a lot of other you know um, faster mediums of getting things done i feel real estate is one industry that's kind of still a little behind in terms of getting more in depth and fast tracking that process because sometimes your moef takes almost 6 months and there's 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 money involved heavy investments involved all of that is that stake so i think that is a sweet spot because whatever is the cost to development eventually gets passed on to the homeowner in some way or form because there's a, there's a, the developer is eventually going to pass it on to the homeowner and these are these are pockets where we can try to optimize and hopefully the entire ecosystem gets more benefit in the long run from that so so on your behalf if i can uh, appeal to uh, the housing ministry or modi ji if he is listening ki uh, kyunki ye hua hai gift mein i was recently at gift and they were everybody was raving about this quote and quote single window clearance so if if it can happen there which means it can happen in india so it can happen somewhere else as well so as i said if somebody is listening who we really want them to listen uh, i think that will make a big difference uh, not only for housing but also putting india at that stage where he wants it to be but anuj your wish list what is it that you want so we all have a huge wish list from the <laughs> government but um uh, come june 24 when the new government takes some um, uh, takes position and takes charge of things something that's going to benefit the home buyer i would say tremendously would be reintroducing the credit link subsidy scheme that had been discontinued around 3 years ago that will help in uh, allowing more and more home buyers to to possibly buy their first house that's going to create a wave i would say not for mumbai or thane but it's going to help more in tier 3 and tier 4 cities where your home pricing is less than 20 or less than 18 lakhs other than that we would also um uh, be happy if, if the government could think about reintroducing the concept of itc in real estate we used to have instead of having flat 1% and 5% gst the government earlier had a concept of 8% and 12% and the developer could choose which scheme he wanted to opt for however since that has been um ruled out the cost of gst on a developer we are essentially being taxed twice be it from construction plus your home buyers that is indirectly being passed on to the home buyer so if developers have an option to choose based upon the project location that will help us in driving pricing to be even more affordable and reasonable for the home buyer eventually helping us to achieve more absorption and the home buyer to achieve his dream apartment so it helps both sides right it Correct. helps so both the things that you both said is all directed towards making allowing you to make houses faster mm-hmm. more affordable and more in scale right that's exactly what we want because i don't think anybody will disagree that there is a dearth for housing demand in our country wo to koi usme dispute karega hi nahi the question is how soon can you make it and hopefully we can make it outside the seven metro cities right because let's not forget mm-hmm. only 20% not even 20% much lower of urban india lives in these metro cities baki cities ka kya they are capital cities we need to build houses there as well so but if this happens then you have to promise me that you'll go outside mmr and build houses in a bhopal and a jodhpur and a jaipur right so with that promise absolutely only I then be <laughs> happy to expand there superb so ayush you shared with us that you have 
born and brought up in Thane. So if you can allow me to call you a Thaneite, I uh, would love to hear from you more about how Thane has evolved uh, over the last 20, 30 years. Usually a city, what happens in the city? Offices are like what happened to BKC and then you make, our developer friends make houses around it. Would I be right to say, maybe, and you can correct me, here there are many houses here, big houses, big and now you guys are retrofitting nice, amazing, grey day office buildings so that people can actually work, entertain, malls, everything here. Can I say that? Tell me more about Thane, 30 years. So going back about 25 years, you know, when I used to, I, and I went to school, um, far deep into Godbandar Road, I went to Hiranandani Estate for school, which was almost 12 kilometers from my house because I live um, at the border of Thane and Mulund, which is Srinagar. And um, all I saw was just a barren road. Like it, there was one Jeep for all the kids who were living on the outskirts of Thane or Mulund, which used to take us from there till the Godbandar Road because, you know, there was, there was no other, very barely any population who was going that far, even within Thane. So, so all I saw was there was no Wagle estate as I passed through. There was one narrow highway, ha half of what it was right now. Godbanda Road itself was almost half of what it was right now. During monsoons, it would get heavily waterlogged. And then, you know, there was, there was nothing to the left and right of it. And then I would reach school. And I would come back the same way. I would reach in, you know, my 15, 20 minutes. And uh, that was the routine. And then over the last 15 years, Thane has changed dramatically. I mean, every big developer is in Thane. Uh, and not just in Thane, they're, they're really driving volume in Thane. And that is because Thane is also reactive, right, as a market. It's, otherwise, no, no, no developer would really come in and put their money and put such heavy investment into large land parcels. It's because Thane is now having that infrastructure. It's having the right set of audience. It's really having that home buyer pool, uh, what you spoke about, right? That one CR range. It's really having, it's, it's attracting that home buyer pool uh, into the city. And it, that has completely changed the shape of the city. So, you know, you have pockets that are, that are kind of developing around it, which are specializing. So, so for example, Wagle Estate specializes in commercial and IT development and you know as i said before there's about two million square feet of uh, grade a offices that are coming into wagle estate and people want that you know walk to work culture with the infrastructure coming in you're okay to go out step away 30 40 minutes you reach bkc whenever you want to dine whenever you want to go out but your life is in and around thane and, and that's what i think the new age consumer wants they want to have more time to be able to spend outside of just traveling around bombay's traffic they want to be able to reach their work, home. They want to be able to go to their kids' school. They want to be able to go to a really great restaurant. They want to be able to do all of that. And on top of it, they want to live in a community space. Completely agree. But then you also, you spoke about infra multiple times, you know. We all spoke about infra so much. And we know it's happening all over the place. But if you have to pin down to maybe one or maybe five, I don't know. What is happening in Thane now? For the, for the future. See, jo ho gaya, so ho gaya. Utsa, kutta, kutta, dikha hai. But you might know something which the home buyer might not know. Ki pe ye banne wala hai and therefore you should look at Thane with greater love. What would be those infrastructure projects? Anuj, we'll start with you first. What is happening in Thane which we don't know? Which you know? Sure, um, we are seeing that Thane is seeing a, already has seen a rapid infrastructure boom with its roads, bridges, flyovers. Now what we're seeing is Further, Thane Corporation is trying to amalgamate and mix and allow connectivity to various parts of Thane that wasn't po possible before. Recently, it came in the papers that the government has issued tenders for the coastal road to be built all the way from Hiranandani Estate, taking you to Balkum and Saket Road and then to Thane City. That will decongest... So we road. waited coastal road in Bombay for so many years, Thane will have its own already? Absolutely. Wow. So, <laughs> um, uh, we have seen Gurbandar Road will be heavily decongested with the um, starting of that road, say in the next five to six years or so. We are also expecting a few new flyovers to connect Bhivandi city with Thane city. And uh, we are actually highly um, anticipating and awaiting for the launch of the metro lines. From a personal point of view and Dosti group point of view, two of our projects are strategically planned just in front of the metro station. So Dosti West County has a metro station just 
opposite the site and even as you drive further to Dosi Greater Dhane, just at the footprint at the right at the mouth of the site is where we have a metro station as well. Wow! Ayushi, do you know something that's happening more in terms of infra that Anuj did not mention? Um couple things. I think metro definitely what Anuj mentioned is is a big, big game changer. The second would be probably um, decongesting the toll naka. Um, and to the extent that I know they're they're in talks to eliminate the toll plaza altogether and that would again that would be a seamless connection from Bombay into Thane uh, it no longer would be a satellite kind of city also it's, it's just going to be seamlessly um, part of Bombay I think that's a big one and uh, third one uh, along with the coastal road uh, which is on the eastern side of Thane on the western side from uh, Srinagar at MTC to Gaimuk they're, they're, they've just announced a bypass road it's about 20 kilometers which would again decongest uh, Godbandar road and it'll go from Srinagar all the way through all the Pokhran roads but from the back so towards the Sanjay Gandhi side and it will reach all the way till Gaimukh from where you can catch the Boriwali tunnel and then go to the west that I think will be a again so if we can go back like step back a little um, to, to to your father Deepak ji and your father Ajay ji, uh, they both obviously started, I don't know, 25, 30 years back. Um, if you can just share any story that you would have heard as a child or even now, at what price did they launch? What is the price today? What kind of an appreciation has Hane seen? And with all this infra getting built, all the workforce getting built of all kinds, white collar, blue collar, aage bhi appreciation hoga. So any story that you remember as a child, that oh, that your father's shared? I mean, he shares it even right now so <laughs> <laughs> because he wants to convey to us that, you know. But uh, I think two two major locations, Thane as a market is huge, but in Srinagar when we launched and that was our first project, it was a seven storey, 20,000 square feet building and that was priced at about um, 1000 to 1500 rupees. We launched at that price. And then, of course, now the price there is upwards of 18, 19,000, uh, almost touching 20,000, competing with Mulan. Are you telling me that 1500 or 20,000 is Yeah, 20 years. 20x in 20 years? Yeah. And another one would be, and, and that, that's all across Thane. So we, we have developments all across. And another one is on Pokhran 2, and we launched at. 3,000 at that time, next right next to Hiranandani Meadows on Pokhran 2 and that was at 3,000. Now that same, the same apartments there are at 23, 24,000. So talk about wealth creation, right? As I said before, you are also creating wealth for the home buyer. Anuj, what did Deepak ji do? What has, what, where, where has, where has Thane, what's, what's going on? So um, he actually began his first project in 1985 in Dhane. It's a project called Faro Nagar and Faro Society was the first tower he had done there. Although it was a G plus 8 story building, it took them three and a half years to make it back in the day. And uh, then in 2002 is when we began Dosti Vihar at Pokhran Road. We began bookings at Dosti Vihar at a price of 1000, 1200 rupees a square feet. And uh, over that was a very positive time. And in 2006, we were at a price of six and a half thousand a square feet. And uh, flashback to today, apartments are being resold at a price similar to what Ayushi mentioned, roughly 22, 22,000 per square feet. So the home buyers out there have really achieved significant appreciation of their capital value and land value in the last 20 years. So looks like we can all three agree that infra is getting built, it's affordable, we have the hill view. Looks like we have better air. You smoke, <laughs> smoke about two degrees cooler than Bombay. I don't like that, but ठीक है, है तो है. And then of course offices are getting built. घर तो बहुत बन रहे हैं. आप बना रहे हो, आप बना रहे हो, बहुत लोग बना रहे हैं. So is migration is definitely happening, right? Because people are buying houses here. Any view that is it only the Mumbaiers are moving here, or the Thane guys are upgrading from a one to a two and a two or two or three? Because I know three bedrooms are being built here. ऐसा नहीं कि सिर्फ two bedrooms are being built, right? Even the three are getting sold. Or are is Thane attracting people from outside the Mumbai's and uh, the neighboring zones? Any view on that? Because migration is happening for sure. I think all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, there was a point in time where Thane was known for one and two BHK 
very very affordable housing but now with with the thane audience themselves wanting to upgrade and wanting better lifestyle we've seen massive massive movement in larger two and three beds even four beds for that matter we have in in projects where we don't have four beds people are opting for two plus two jodi even if whether it is thane city you know majiwada junction whether it is uh, in mulund whether it is in um, areas like kalwa where we have our projects people are opting for two plus two bed jodis which honestly even we as developers didn't plan for that type of four bed because we wanted to play it safe sure. at that point but you know thankfully we kept the jodi options <laughs> because <laughs> but uh, but yeah it's 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 going at and at what speed and and that's the kind of evolution that we have seen in terms of you know thane city upgrading itself people are coming from kdmc yeah so, so the thane. migration is twofold people better are better homes better quality homes better quality better connectivity better lifestyle more job opportunities here so people want to upgrade from you know um, kalyan dumdivili that entire belt into thane and then of course you have people living in other parts of bombay we see a lot of western suburbs and central suburbs moving into thane because they want larger spaces so no chamuno asked the same question to you but before that i'll share a quick personal story i came from santa cruz all the way to thane to the viviana mall to see the star wars movie mm-hmm. you know wo kuch bahut saalon baad release hui thi uh, because i wanted to see it in that 5d experience right you keep shaking right because bombay mo tab था या नहीं था मुझे याद नहीं आ रहा बट वी स्पेसिफिकली केम ऑल द वे टू सी दैट मूवी दैट्स द फर्स्ट आई वांट टू शेयर सो एंड सेकंड माय कंपनी आई हैव अबाउट 150 एम्प्लॉइज ऑफ व्हिच अराउंड 100 प्लस लिव बिटवीन थाने एंड केडीएमसी एरिया ऑल दोस यंग बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स टेल मी हम लोग कल्याण डोंबीवली से थाना आते हैं मॉल फॉर द मॉल फॉर द मॉल एक्सपीरियंस वी डोंट हैव इट देयर वी हैव इट हियर राइट सो दे डोंट शाई अवे फ्रॉम ट्रैवलिंग सो मच टू एक्सपीरियंस व्हाट थाने कैन ऑफर But Anuj, coming to you, uh, what's your take on this whole migration? Um, we have seen in most of our projects around sixty uh, percent of the home buyers are from Thane, and the remaining home buyers we have seen very affluent home buyers. So, for example, most of the four BHKs in Dosti Majesta on Gorbandar Road have been bought by the elites and affluent crowd staying in be it Badlapur, Ullas Nagar, Kalyan, Dombivali. for them it's a upgrade to go from that city to to thane city and uh, we also recently launched one of our projects in thane known as dosti greater thane out of bkc the entire point was to get buyers to come to thane had been a challenge for us therefore we chose to come to the buyer instead bkc being an area where you have people from all walks of life we put a sales office there and we were very happy to see that more than 25% of our bookings came from western suburbs so people staying in andheri people from santa cruz people in mira road lalbagh bahinder they all have purchased homes at greater thane and it's purely an investment for them they have never visited greater thane they have never been to thane in fact but just that this was brought to them therefore they felt like they are missing out on something that the other part of the population are getting to enjoy wow so should i call this brand thane or brand dosti uh, it's brand thane nahi to ek again we keep going back to infrastructure and it's like this is my favorite uh, thing because i genuinely believe ki agar infra aayega to real estate will grow and prosper right and there's one as a proud indian there's one gorgeous project being made in india called the bullet train and i'm really looking forward to you know riding in it once it gets built but what astonished me was ki bombay ahmedabad there are hundreds of trains that ply between these two cities it's like you know hum log bolte the new york boston mm-hmm. shuttle mm-hmm. service right uh, bombay ahmedabad bombay pune is also like a shuttle service each and all of those trains go straight north right they will go to borivali wapi surat baroda anand whatever any view comment you would have why is the bullet train going via thane the alignment is going to ahmedabad so mind it but wo thane ho ke kyu ja rahi hai that speaks a lot about the government's vision or the will to grow this part of what was erst while called the satellite part of bombay now thane by itself right so i think it's a great thing to see a, one of the first maiden bullet train in india 
actually going, getting realigned. Let me use this word very carefully. Getting realigned via Thane to go to Ahmedabad. I mean, just a proud moment or you think it, there's a... You didn't say that. No, I mean, I'm, there's definitely strategic input because the population of Thane is yeah. huge. Super. And when we talk about Thane as a whole, Thane is not just Thane city. It is all the neighboring areas that kind of make up Thane city. And if we were to add that population, it's, I, I don't know the number, but I know it's a, it's a really, really high number. Yeah, yeah. Thane, there are more people living than a small uh, capital, capital city yeah, in some state, yes. And it's, it's one of, I, I think, if you take the top five or six um, cities which sells maximum real estate, Thane is usually in the top five or six cities across India. So that is the volume of, you know, real estate and people living in this city. So, I mean, definitely it is, it is strategic that way. And I think another aspect is, you know, when you connect it in an intercity kind of way, why is also the Samruddhi Marg ending at Thane or starting at Thane, you know, it's from Nagpur to, to Thane. Because Thane has that infrastructure to then connect you back into Bombay as well. Plus, it has an inherent population that is very, very large. Beyond that, it has the business houses now, which will connect you, which will allow for that intercity connectivity and, you know, kind of benefit from that. Super. So on that proud moment, we can be all proud Indians. Thank you so much for this joining me on Thank my you. first show which again I'll repeat is called Location Nexus and uh, till the next time we'll pick another micro market bring in some similar wonderful guests and we'll talk about and us pe charcha karenge. Thank you so much.